In this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate how to use Ableton Push in user mode with more than one channel. Um, currently uh, one of the grievances is that um, with Ableton and the Push, the Push is hard set to channel 1. Um, you can't seem to um, reassign its internal channel and um, which means you can only use one page um, this video I'm going to show you how to actually um, access up to 16 pages using uh, all 116 channels the first thing you need to do before doing this is you need to go on the internet and you need to download a thing called MIDI Yoke um, you can do Google and just do a search for it, download it, install it. Currently, I have it running under 64 bit Windows 7, uh, seems to run fine. Once it's installed, you need to go to Options, Preferences, um, make sure that you've got your push set up correctly here. Uh, once you've got it set up, uh, down here it's important you need to make sure that MIDI Yoke Port 1 remote is on make sure track and the other one is off uh, for input on Ableton push port 2 the only thing that should be on is track make sure these are off um, when it comes to output make sure MIDI port 1 uh, on MIDI oak is on for track and on for remote uh, output for push 2 you can leave these two on uh, these settings are very important um, because with my experience um, if you don't do it correctly you'll end up sending on the default channel and not only that with MIDI Oak you end up getting feedback and it basically crashes the system and it's very difficult to get back out of again so these are specific settings are the ones you need to make sure you have before you begin once that's done obviously you just close it um, the next thing you need to do is you need to set up your channels um, what I've done already is I've set up eight channels you need to make sure able and push 2 that's port 2 is set for the input you can leave all channels set make sure your MIDI out is set to MIDI oak 1 and then set your channel first track goes to channel 1 second track channel 2 all the way up to 16 I just have it configured for 8 right now um, just to demonstrate exactly what you can do here you're in user mode um, you want to assign something I mean you can assign things externally internally it's entirely up to yourself but this generally deals with assigning it internally because internally you really only have one page and that's all you can do channel 1 here I'll just choose channel 2 uh, to prove it works click in and let's say we want to assign play I've just enabled this uh, we're going to use channel 2 instead of channel 1 just to prove it actually works so the first thing we need to do is we click MIDI and we'll choose play and I'm going to press this button here it's assigned now just to prove that it works obviously that's enabled I'm just going to press it there you go okay and um, then you can just stop it if I disable the channel and try nothing is coming in from push now just to prove it works again I'm going to do is I'm going to enable MIDI and this time I'm going to choose record um, before I do that, I'm, go I'm going to change the channel. So the channel we assigned was channel 2. This time I'm going to cha assign channel 3. So we click MIDI, click record, and press the same button. Record is now assigned to the same control as what was assigned to play. Normally, if you try to do this, push, push or Ableton Live will complain and say that it's a conflict because we're on two different channels it doesn't matter so we get rid of this if I press this button now it'll record if I disable this and enable this and press it again sorry okay I've just stopped it and if 
I disable this, enable this, I press this, it plays. If I disable this and enable this and press it, it'll record. So the same button is assigned to do two different channels. The advantage of this is that you end up having up to 16 pages um, to do whatever you like with. You're not confined to a single page. Um, these pages can control Ableton Live uh, internally. Um, so you can have 16 assignments for any single control on and that's just internally. Again you can use the same 16 pages to control everything externally if you wish. Um, that will be entirely up to you or if for some reason um, you want to you can have several channels enabled which means that you've got several assignments layered so a single control on push will perform up to 16 functions simultaneously. Um, that's it for now I hope that actually was useful in my next video what I'll do is I'll be showing you how to set up um, customized pages with lights and this will not be um, confined to single channels um, it's multiple multiple pages as many as you wish uh, and as many functions as you like without doing any coding thanks for watching